And so tonight's uh, session two, we're going to spend about an hour talking about this um, storyboarding. Here's our uh, agenda. We'll also be going, uh, making sure you're okay about the discussion and the assignment. We'll also be reviewing the questions on the assessment for tonight. Yay. So we'll, we'll go over each question there. And uh, pretty much same announcements. Um, we I posted the session one link already. Uh, you're getting the announcements now, correct? Yes, sir, I am. Okay, good. I'm happy. <laughs> and later on tonight, I'll, uh, I got a message from uh, Misty. She is our indeed our learning coach, and I'll post Yay. her flyer. So this week, we're just going to focus on uh, the tools and then the concepts of uh, cross-platform development. Remember what that is. You can create things for both small devices and larger device displays. And uh, to find the UI for our development, we're going to have two different sample uh, resolutions, one for a mobile, one for a, a, a desktop. Then interactive uh, will come up with the idea for your interactive uh, animated infographic and uh, then talk about the tools. So. Tonight, we're going to try to get clear on some of your ideas so you can start hacking out the storyboard, or at least talking about it. You don't need to necessarily create it, but you can talk about it. Um, this is the point layout, 60 points for the um, discussion, 120 for the assignment, and 50 for the assessment. We talked about this uh, discussion. I think you said you've already done some uh, searching and you've been watching some videos too. Do you, uh, do you, what do you think about this word infographic? Do you, uh, do you think you, you know, what's your interpretation of that? Remember, it's, we can be a little bit liberal about that. So what have, what have you decided uh, to interpret infographic to be? Can you? Well, I know it's a visual presentation of some kind of data or material that we're going to put together. Information or graphical illustrations. Yeah, it can be, um, you can be really restrictive about the interpretation of that term, or we can be pretty open. The goal here is really show off your skills. That's kind of it. Show off yourself, show off your skills, create something that can go into your, um, your portfolio so now we uh, you know we, we'll be working on this storyboard and we can just talk about these different scenes and put together a, a story that you can then talk about in your uh, discussion that's kind of what uh, you need to do so we don't need to have a break just yet so let's do that and uh, um, let's talk some more about some of your ideas. You said you've done some video searching. And so um, do, you, do you have any, any ideas about the story that you want to tell? Well, it really depends. I can talk about web design and development, or I can talk about diabetes itself, because I do have diabetes, or I can talk about Okay. Uh, this web design idea, I think yesterday we were, we were coming up with some ideas about how to, to perhaps to describe the scenario of working with a customer. And you could tell the story of starting from scratch. Uh, for example, let's do that. Let's just pretend just for a minute. Let me ask my son. I'll mute it and ask him. Well, I think that this may have stopped recording. He said it's not even doing anything right now. Yeah, I kind of think it's on my end, and I, I can't explain it because I'm right next to my Wi-Fi uh, hub. 
Do you got a storm or anything there? No, nothing going on here. How wicked. Makes you wonder there's a ghost in the house. It could be mine too. You never know. Well, mine said connecting. And so uh, that makes me, th and then stop sharing a screen. So that makes me think it's on my end. That's what I think. Okay. So let's see. Where were we? We were talking about a story. Okay. Stories that you can tell. Okay. We're going to do some role play. And our role play will be such that um, role play would be such that let's tell a story. And you said that you wanted to get into the business of website development and so on. So let's talk about that uh, that story. And you could uh, potentially this might become a story that you can then storyboard. So. Um, so talk to me about, let's say I'm a, a customer, and, and let's say you're set up, you, you talked about setting up a business for website development, I think. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. All right, so I'm going to call, I'm going to call you up on my phone, and I say, hello, Liz, Mrs. Chip, I would like to use your services. So let's start it off like that. Um, and, and then let's say what you, where you go from here and this kite could become the presentation, this animated film could become the presentation of what, what we go over now and what you want to propose and the process, let's say the process of working with me. So go ahead and let's role play this just for a little bit. I'm the customer, the new customer, you are the, um, you know, you're you're the web developer. So go ahead and kind of drive this a little bit and let's see how this goes. I'll try and do my best. Um, what's your needs, your wants? What colors do you need or you want to use? All right. Kind of style. A, yeah, let's start off. Let's start one at a time. That's lots of questions there and that could all be uh, a conversation. Okay, first, what what do you want? What do you need in your website? Okay, well, let me uh, let me back up and just uh, just for a second say uh, I don't I don't even have uh, a logo, I don't have a um, I don't have any brochures, any kind of documentation. I just have an idea, and so um, I let's say I've got an idea. I want to create a um, a website where it's like I want to create like a, a social media service, like a social network. I want to create a social network that's based upon, uh, let's say, uh, stock or traders. Yeah, let's try that idea. Um, this is a social network that that's caters to stock traders. People, individuals, you know, not necessarily professionals, but just individuals uh, like you and me. Okay, so that's my idea. Now go ahead and, and um, perhaps we can talk about from beginning to end what, what services you can do for me. How's that? Okay, what services I can do? Yes. So what's the first thing that you want to create for me? I've got to create a logo first. Okay, that sounds what good. What do you want your logo to look like? Kind of yeah. describe me. Yeah, logo. So my logo, I would like it to use kind of a, a financial professional font. Um, uh, let's say uh, I've got to come up with, I don't even have a company name. Um, I, I don't have a URL. Or anything like that, and you can you can talk to me about that. If uh, um, let's see, so company name. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's say we'll call this uh, social stocks. I don't know. Let's try that. Social stocks. No, no. I can come up with a better one than that. Let's see. Uh, stock. No, let's see, invest, investors. Um, 
yeah, let's do investors. Let's try to use investors in there. Uh, investors, um, in, let's call it Investors Galley. I don't know, that's my name, Investors Galley. I kind of, do you have any ideas, uh, investors? Uh, my goal is to create a place for investors to hang out. We could even say investors hang out, investors galley, galley. I'm thinking. <laughs> let's go with investors galley. Okay, so that's the name of my business, investors galley. I'll take care of getting a business license. Now, now let's talk about the website. So, what questions do you have? I still got to make a logo. So, what right, color? You're right. You're right. You're good. What colors? Uh, what style? Yeah, investors uh, galley, and uh, the, the colors. Let's say I'd like to have uh, a yellow in there, um, and then maybe um, a blue, maybe a yellow and blue. Those two colors. I don't know which, but you know we could create a little bit of a color template. I think um, you know using. I think there's some online services that let you create a template of colors, but I think yellow and blue would be the two base colors, a certain type of yellow, and a certain type of blue, and you could propose those to me. And then the logo, um, we can go ahead and uh, you know come up with you come up with some sample logos. So, so let's stop for pause this conversation just for a second. And so the story that we're telling here is is really the story of what you intend to do with customers and and so we're going to kill a few birds with one stone because in this conversation of what you're going to do with with uh future customers you're going to tell the story number one it's going to take us from beginning to end through the process of of you and uh, working with me it will reveal the process in the in that process it will also um um, let's see, reveal the process and we'll go over the steps of the process. Um, it will also show what areas of expertise you have because these steps of the process will be mapped according to your own capability and as well as your, your web design capability. So, um, do you agree? Yes. Okay, so uh, so 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 far so good. We've got uh, uh, so scene one might be uh, conversation about um, uh, logos or a conversation even about branding. Uh, how do you feel? Do you feel very qualified about branding? Uh. It's been a while since I've did branding. I mean, I can make my own logo. That's not a problem for me. You can make a logo. Now, the conversation about branding is, uh, you know, it's more along the lines of marketing. and um, But you kind of have to keep that concept in the back of your mind when you're developing a uh, package for, um, for a client. Now, I, I use the word package. Let me, let me back up and explain that. Um, customer uh, website development companies actually sell packages and and it might be good for you to do a little bit of research in fact can you see my screen does it say assignment one the storyboard yes okay so let's say web design packages logo uh, SEO website development Let's see. Website design company. This SEL stands for search engine optimization. It's actually one of the things that you could offer to your clients. Um, Let's see, web design packages, web.
Website development packages. Okay, so uh, I just saw this uh, web pre WordPress. That's also another question. You know, we're, we're kind of defining the process of dealing with a customer, and the goal here is to show off your own skills and at the same time kind of inform them. So, so here I just did a uh, search for uh, packages, and so here's, here's an example of exactly what I was referring to regarding packages. So this is a web design company. This would kind of be like you. And then here's the silver level package, the gold level package, and then platinum level package. Why are you showing me? Because all I see is the Simon Storyboard oh, page. I, I don't see cool. what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm going, what is he talking about? There we go. Okay. Okay, so all I did is I searched for um, web design packages, and I scrolled down here, and right there, I clicked on this link. So this is a website de development company, and, and they offer these different packages. And so silver level for $19.99, gold for $45.99, and platinum for $78.99. So the conversation you would have so you could do a similar thing, but we could maybe even just be simple for now and just talk about a conversation of, of the silver package. So you could, for example, one scene in your, um, in your storyboard could be a conversation about custom website design. And you could, you could take uh, the words custom website design, you could fade them in, fade them out, um, and you could add some audio about uh, this part of the conversation. Uh, let's see here. One design concept, one revision. Okay, so here, all, their, all the conversation is going on here is they give you one concept and one revision to that concept. Whereas over here, you know, they say, we'll give you one concept and you can have two revisions. So here. And then the next thing you can talk about, desktop and mobile-friendly design. And uh, we could have a scene discussing this. Um, here we can have a scene about the fact that there would be, you would develop five website pages to, to, the, to the site, any additional page, you know, 125 bucks. You would, it would be simply static HTML programming. Um, there would be no scripting or anything on the, uh, on the back end. One email contact form, uh, one homepage image slideshow. Uh, let's go, that's the on the homepage, just the images that, that go scrolling by. They charge 250 bucks to do that. Um, that in and of itself is an animation. It actually is done using HTML and CSS, possibly some JavaScript. Photo gallery, 24 photos, uh, Google Analytics set up. This is technical. This basically says we'll we'll configure your website so that Google Analytics will keep keep track of traffic, and we'll put that right in your website. Keyword research. This talks about SEO, search engine optimization. It's basically the service from this company is saying, hey, we'll we'll start looking at the keywords that uh, search engines are using that uh, will help in. Uh, get, bringing your website to the forefront in the top 10. So the keyword research is, is where we take your industry that, of your customer and then go in and start looking and analyzing the terms that are the best search terms to be using. And that's, that's all part of search engine optimization or SEO. Um, and there's that. So website maintenance, 150 bucks an hour. So you could create a whole storyboard discussing this whole sequence of things. They didn't say anything about logo design. It kind of, uh, so that's one idea. This, you know, discussing uh, possibly a different sequence here. Let's see what's different here. Two revisions, uh, 15 pages there. WordPress, that's kind of interesting. Um, that's another part of your conversation you could talk about, and that is that you could you could do a WordPress site rather than just a custom HTML site. Um, photo gallery support, uh, development photo gallery, matching blog setup. That's kind of interesting because you can just quickly create a blog 
and link to that blog. Um, so you know, you know what that is, right? You can create a blog. Yeah, I know what a blog is, but I've never set one up. Yeah, it's really simple to do. You just go to, you know, you can create like blogger.com and set one up and it, it's its own website in and of itself, but you can create one for your customer and then link to it. Um, once again, Google Analytics set up, keyword research and so on. Hosting, uh, 20 bucks a month. Here we have platinum custom website design, all three of those. Uh, desktop 25, this is 25 website pages or website, uh, two email contact forms. Uh, that's basically a form, you can create forms on the website and they, they type in the information, click submit, and it goes to an email address. I'll go pay, let's see, event calendar, that would be a new feature. Uh, PayPal shopping cart, you could, you could have your own uh, e-commerce website, that'd be something you could talk about that you could do and create, set up. And so, and then here the same thing. So, I'm interested. Give me some feedback on what your. Uh, by the way, here's a link to a blog. This is what it would look like, and it's probably to a different website. Uh, yeah, they they mask the URL of this possibly. I'm not even sure how they inc include it. Anyway, so uh, and here's the contact. This would be like an email form here. I don't even see it. Uh, they just don't even have an email form. Oh, there it is right there. So this would be where you, so creating a form would be one of the services that you could do. Um, web hosting would be a service you could do. A link to the portfolio. Different industries that they're in. So anyways, so tell me what, how you're think, what, what are you thinking? What are your, I, what ideas are, are you getting from all this? I can make a portfolio because it even says it right there in front of me, web design portfolio. Kind of gives you an idea of kind of, I don't know. I can kind of do what you're saying or I can create something like the, what the, can't even talk now, I lost it, the resume. The example you showed us? Sure. I could do something like that too, or like you said, the zoom in, zoom out thing. Sure. Yeah. It sounds like you've got a lot of ideas, but it's difficult for you to make up your mind a little bit. That's nothing new for me. <laughs> yeah. So I guess uh, pros and cons would be a good, good thing to include here. Um, Yeah, so. So we're not really having to do an anim animation or this time it's just the little storyboard first, right? Well, we're just talking about the storyboard here and, and our goal is to create some, uh, an interactive animation, which basically means you can click a button some, some, at some point during the uh, animation. And, uh, and, and also things move. So you can use the animation that's involved with, uh, with the uh, Adobe Flash. And so things move, and then you can use the interaction with uh, buttons. Does that answer your question? Uh, sort of. What was your question? Oh, this is basically not going to be like I've done the last two classes. This is more into it. Is that was basically what you're saying. I. It's supposed to be an extension of the other two classes. What is it that I said that made you think? Because the the class you talked about, that's the one I did the um, camel with. I haven't showed you that video. And then the other one I did tickle me Elmo, which is a little bit different.
I think I remember that Campbell. Was that did, was I your teacher in that class? I don't remember. I think I had uh, somebody else. Okay. I mean, I have it. I mean, I don't get rid of anything that I have. All right. Why don't you share your screen because that's probably got some animation in it. Or... Okay. Yeah, I had to do it where they were walking and everything. Let me see if I can. You have to unshare, and then I'll. While you're doing that, I'm going to try to find it first because <laughs> I don't remember what class it was. Well, DES246, if you're talking about Flash. Okay. I don't remember if it was. Yeah, I guess it would be, wouldn't it? Okay. Um, I'm going to have to find my. Give me just a second to get it up, okay? Because i got to. Come on, X the full screen. There we go. Trying to get all this other stuff closed out. I have to get stuff up, I think. Okay. I have to get it off my external. It's easier that way. I don't mind having it. Let me see. Which class did you say it was? DES 246. Yeah, it's not on here. It's on my other. Uh, I try to save everything. So you don't think the camel came from DS246? I think it did. I just got to get to it. It's in my school site. And I have to find it. Okay. There it is. I think it is the camel. Yes, it is. Let me see if I can find the... Because I had to zip it, so I'm trying to find the page that had the actual animation on it. Um, trying to think what it would look like. I can't remember which week. I'm trying to find the week. Oops, it knocked me off. There we go. Well, I've got the camel. I guess I could open up my Illustrator, right? Well, um, so go ahead and show your screen. Okay. Hold on, let me get to there again. Well, I was trying to open up Illustrator right now, so. Let me knock off PowerPoint. That might help. Come on. There it goes. It's coming up now. Well, there's my camel, but I'm trying to figure out how you get to the, uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. It scared me. There's my camel, but that's not my illustration. I seem to remember this, I think. You, I don't know. I remember a camel being animated in one of my classes. I, I thought it was you. It could have been. I don't remember. Just trying to figure out which week it was. It's got to be this one. Aha. So which one of these? I would have to pick the one for the Internet Explorer, right? The HTML is for you to see it? Well, uh, you can do Camel on the Run, two up. That's a Swift file. Oh, this one? Yeah, wait, wait a minute. Go back to the HTML because that will probably open up the other one. Double click on that because it's probably uh, published. Uh-oh. Why did it do that? Oh, probably because where I'm at, right? go back here okay it's this one right here so let me come on please work yeah you did this in my class <laughs> Should have made it bigger because it's gonna go crazy. See, I got sound there. Not loud, but uh 
That's it. It kind of messed it up for some reason. Let me shut it off. It'll keep running. For some reason, it's not stopping, and I don't know what's happened. Well, I remember working on that with you. I remember yeah. trying to figure out how we got it to work, but I thought we got it to work, but I don't. Well, there's Flash right there, an SW movie. I don't know yeah, if it'll work. We're working on that with you. But I don't understand why it's taking part of it off. I think it's something to do with the screen. See, because now it's doing better. I just made it bigger. But we never could get it to slow down. Yeah, I remember. Just the tail. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, trying to get the uh, the gait of that camel figured out. Okay. Yeah, it turned off that time. Yeah, okay. Um, I just saw you, you use your name, Francis, so I think I'm going to switch from Liz to Francis because I bet you that Francis is probably what you probably go by more than Liz. So. You want me to stop sharing? Yeah. So that was, that was a fun project. Yeah, you did great on that. Okay, so... In that you had animation, you didn't have any any interactivity, but you did have the animation going on. What do you mean by the interactivity? There's no buttons to stop it. Oh no, because it was already we fixed it where it would stop at the end. Right. So stop and start, or um, I would have to uh, create that. Right. All right. So. Um, so let's come up with some more ideas for your storyboard. Um, in fact, let's, let's, let's start uh, narrowing it down. So, hmm. so you can do animations with objects like you just showed. As that, that can be part of your, um, you know, that can be the story using uh, animations like that. Uh, we can use this, create a start and stop button. Um, we can um, just do zooming and panning of images. That's that's actually an animation in and of itself. That's getting funnier and funnier. Oh wow! That's that's must be my must be mine. I'm on a okay. Wi-Fi, but I'm ten feet away from the. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's me. I'm not very far from mine at all. It's right here on my computer table. Hmm. Did I lose you again? No, I'm here. Oh. Okay. You so, see, we're supposed to have a real bad storm tomorrow, so I don't know. It might be in between. But my light's blinking really good, so I don't know. Yeah, it must be on my end, uh, and yet I can't figure it out. There might be too many people on, too. That's what my problem usually is. At certain times during the day, I get I don't get knocked off, but it's so slow, I might as well be knocked off. Yeah, you know, it, that occurs to me. Uh, well, my son is probably upstairs, and sometimes he plays games, but he's he's connected with a hard wire. I'm, I'm the one who's connected on Wi-Fi. So, um, but I don't know if his activity would be impacting me that's kind of a curious question all right so um I, what i was saying when i got logged off there was um you can do uh you can use objects and go uh animate them like you did that D in des246 from oh and then you can do things like you did in des360 uh which is also some animation uh, but the thing in this course, the thing that is the variable is just to be able to uh, stop and start or just use some interactivity. So with, with your mouse, whether it be stop and start or whether it be like mouse over interaction 
or moving the mouse and, and then something happens in your um, story. It's You're going to show me how to do that, right? The start and stop. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. That's what cool. about using some, since I'm from Texas and I know I've got that little Texan, Texan wang, how about I just do something about Texas? That's I mean, cool. like pictures of Texas. Yeah, you can tell a story. Does that work? Yeah, you could tell a story, zooming in, zooming out. Could, like the armadillo, the, what is it, the Alamo, stuff like that, that I like. Because you uh -huh. said it's got, you know, it's it's better to be just what I like, in my opinion, that I want to share with everybody else. It's still going to be just like web design because I'm going to be doing something that I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... I just thought about that. I thought that would be a good thing. And that way it's not, to me, the two I did was more like a kitty top animation top thing. I want to do something that's for the adult top. Like a broader clientele, I guess you could say. Or an audience. Instead of little doing for the smaller version, I need to get up and do for the adult version top. All right. And that way, you know, it can still go for kids because they can learn about Texas, but, you know, the adults can too. I don't have to just do Texas. I mean, there's everywhere, but I've been from Texas all my life. I've only been out a few times, so. Yeah, you know, in fact, you can you can get close to this infographic idea by by showing numbers and statistics too uh, that – and maybe even charts that not just images of things, but also uh, informational uh, about you know population or something like that. You can True. you can animate the images, zooming in, zooming out, panning. You can also animate um, the text. Uh, text you can. Um, like fade in, fade out, for example. And then the objects or any other assets that you want, you can you can bring in. Okay, so do you want to decide on that? Uh, let's make a decision. Yep. yep, I already wrote it down that I'm going to do about Texas. All right, sounds good. So now uh, you want to create about, boy, nine scenes or so. Um, Let's look at that. Oh, believe me, I'm writing everything down. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't want to forget nothing. Yeah, let's see. My uh, memory is not that grand sometimes. You were having the same problem yesterday. You didn't want to switch. Oh, there it goes. Let's see. I was going to look for DS365, uh, the download, the Adobe template. Is it not going to download it or is it just sitting there? Uh, this is uh, loading up. Oh, see, I can't see. So what you see, I just see the screen where it says a Dropbox on it. There it goes. Did it knock you off again? No. Okay, scared me. So what do you see on the screen now? I see the storyboards. Okay, good. So there's eight different scenes here. Uh, three, six, eight here. You can have more or less. You can have just eight. So. Uh, uh, in the discussion of each storyboard scene, uh, you would you would describe what it's about and um, any animation that takes place on that s scene. Uh, up here, you'd say how long it is, and uh, then you can even talk about transition to the next scene. So, why don't you start uh, coming up with some ideas about these different scenes? What what comes to your mind? Mm, the first scene would be an introduction and maybe the, the the map just of Texas itself, kind of in the main points like Austin and all them places, San Antonio, 
just little stars, you know what I'm talking about, on the Texas shape. Yeah, sure. I don't know. That's one thing I can think of at this moment because it's going to have to be an introduction. Yeah. Um, you can you can zoom in. You could have like a chart of USA and then zoom in on the, on the um, state of Texas. You could have... Um, have an animation so that you um, you have uh, all USA and then and then the state of um, Texas kind of flashes or something like that. Um, what's your idea? I like the zooming in part. Okay. Zooming in to Texas, and then it'll pop up or slide in to certain points, like Austin. What's in Austin? what's in San Antonio most like the Alamo and all that blue bonnets like I can be in another scene about the state flower yeah in, in fact uh, yeah I was gonna say uh, you could have a different scene that um, for each city that you wanted to go into um, but you could have a scene keep going the scene for uh, a flower, the state flower, what else? Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I, I like your idea of like, uh, you could like go on a little bit of a journey. Um, wouldn't, it be inter wouldn't it be interesting to an animate a, a, a route that's going through uh, like from city to city and you kind of, um, you could animate a, um, that would be interesting to animate, like not walking, but, or a path. You could animate a path going from city to city. So like scene one would, or scene two, let's say, would say, uh, visiting Austin or something like that. And your path could start off in Austin, but then the transition to the next scene, and you could show a couple images from Austin and talk about that or do audio. True. The, the next scene, you could go from Austin and, and animate a path going from that to the next city that you want to talk about. And so you would literally see the... Uh, um, like a, an arrow tr drawing a path over to the other s um, what what do you see on the screen right are you still there did I lose you again oh you're just having some bad time not my uh all i heard you clicking and then it got solid can you see a map on my screen yes so uh, what i was thinking is you could animate Let's say um, start in Austin um, and go from there. You could zoom in, zoom out. You could you could do a zoom in, zoom out, and zoom out of Austin and zoom in on Dallas. That's one idea for animation. Um, kind of like what this is doing here. Um, let's see. Houston. El San Antonio. And then back to Austin. Yeah, something like that. Just in that general area? Yeah, you could do something like that. 
or we could go all the way down to corpus back up or whatever too yeah and so your animation could like draw this path you know like one frame it would go to here next frame it would go to here next frame to here and so the animation would kind of go like a car in fact you could even move a car a little tiny car icon go like that and then come down here and then over here um you know maybe at some other places and then when you come there and then it would could the next scene could be a couple pictures from that place and um you could do um you could either have like a texas song going the whole time or you could uh you know um make a soundtrack um one second i'm gonna sneeze I'm usually not fast enough to catch my sneeze, but I caught it. I was able to mute. I would have said bless you anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> well, that's good. So uh, part of the animation could be making this path over, or you can just even just move a car along the map or something like that if you want to do an animation. Um, and then it would cut and then go into some pictures. You could have an audio. I was going to show you about this audio program that I've downloaded called Audacity. It's free, and it's kind of nice because you can just um, create audio that easily. And this, you can just um, create audio that easily. See that? And then uh, you can even um, do a uh like i think you can just like two this you can just do um, do two tracks create audio that easily and even have two tracks so watch this this you can just, just do uh do two tracks create audio, audio uh, that easily that's crazy <laughs> yeah anyway so it's free you can download that if you want you can like keep uh you know you can create the audio track i can show you how to save it out and export it and then you can bring that in import that into your uh your storyboard so okay. those are some more ideas for you um so how do you feel now do you think you can write up your uh, idea and post it in the discussion uh, by tomorrow night yeah, I think I can. I just got to finish doing research for the first part first. Okay. I only have to have one more, and then I can write it up, and then I can go from there. Uh, yeah. That sounds good. Do you see on my screen it says the storyboard? Yes, sir. Okay. So, um, why don't I just pause this? I'll go upstairs. See, and uh, I'll be right back. Let's take a short break. How's that? Okay, that sounds good to me. Okay. How about that? Well, I guess I'm going to have to figure out why my Wi Fi is messing up. Uh, I might have to figure out like a Get a cable. Maybe I should just reset my Wi Fi. That might or might not be the problem. Okay, so uh, this assessment, let's go over that. Uh, the assessment is titled Storyboard Creation. It is based upon the required readings and videos that are in our <coughs> course. And here's question one. Um, um, the question is set up so that you can just take like, the time is like unlimited time. So um, I don't believe that the timing on it is, I'm pretty sure it's just unlimited time. So, um, or you can stop it and start it. There's some, some, some characteristics about this assessment.
Quiz will remain open until the end of week two, but a 20% deduction will be taken and submitted after the due date. So um, it's from this page where we'll find the, these are the, this is the content. Oh, I don't know if you, I don't know if I shared that properly. Let me try that again. Okay, so here's the content here. And um, so in the video under what does it look like, he discusses some great tips on quickly creating a storyboard, even if you don't know how to draw very well. What is the tip that works best for his process? Now, um, I'm not gonna just show you all the answers, I guess. <laughs> um, but I just wanna go over the questions. Um, let's see, it's multiple choice. So let's do this. Uh, why don't you, we'll go ahead and go through all these questions and then, um, then when you take the test, uh, don't submit it. If you have any questions, just don't yet submit it. We'll talk over any questions you have. Here's question number two. From week one's reading tools, guy reading and videos, how to storyboard. In this article, he talks about how to storyboard effectively. What are the three things he suggests to help convey the story? And then question three. This one is a new feature summary. That's a different... Uh, item um i'll show you where that is what's on the screen right now question three okay i gotta uh, give you the new share here and show you this so here's the new feature summary right there so that's the next one here Okay, with all the great new features in Animate, formerly Flash, um, one of the coolest things is being able to output to HTML5 Canvas. As we learned in the live session, abstract drawings cannot be created using CSS, but we can draw irregular shapes and animate and animate them. So if we need to export the animation to HTML5 Canvas and CSS and not a Swift file, what does Animate create for these irregular animated bitmap shapes? <clears throat> so, um, so there's there's a technology. It's a tool, or it's not a tool or technology so much as there's a, a manner, a mechanism that's that's used by it um, because you're using HTML5 Canvas CSS. So there's a different mechanism for using animated bitmap shapes and. And when you watch this, you'll you'll catch on to what that is. It's it's different than how the Swifts were processed. This was using the Flash engine, but because we don't have the Flash engine, we're doing different things. The browser has to do something different, and it explains what that is. Question four, new feature summary. What features were, was removed from 28 Flash 2014 CC and reintroduced in 2015 CC? I'm not too sure if that question is really clear let me share the screen and look real quickly on that right here what do you see on the screen right now well let's see I see um, a man running right now okay good all right so this is the bone tool now um, It's just not real clear that uh, the bone tool is the thing that was taken out and put back in. This is using the bone tool. It's basically a cumulative kinematics. It's uh, inverse kinematics so that you can um, cap compound the movement 
of of like a jointed item. That's what uh, the bone tool facilitates. Question five, and this is also the new feature summary. In previous versions of Flash, the zoom level determined how wide your brush, brush painted. So again, zoom level determined how wide your brush painted. In 2015 CC, it now includes the ability to have brush scaling and zoom level completely separate. So they're independent of each other. You can, however, revert to the legacy way of handling brush scale and zoom level by just setting what checkbox. So this is checkbox now associated with this disabling uh, or using, doing the legacy way. And what this means is, um, it, what this means is that you can uh, zoom. When you zoom, your brush can be bigger. You zoom in, zoom out, smaller, or you can have them independent of each other. Question six. The animation is being created more and more using uh, HTML5 canvas. That's the HTML5, not the action script based document. Adobe has created a way to take existing documents requiring the Flash player, that would be the action script based uh, Flash project files, and then convert them to HTML5 so they are viewable on any device. In this tutorial, they go over two ways to get your Swift animation converted over HTML5. What are the two ways? So it, it explains to you how to get content from your from the old Adobe, well, I say old, action script based uh, which are also Flash Player based, dependent. Um, the ActionScript 3.0 based project files are export in Swift file format, which is used by Flash Player. So we're getting away from that. So if you create your, uh, when you're in the in Flash, you create a new Canvas document, then you can export out the HTML5. So this goes over two different ways where you can move your content that you created in, in the uh, Flash uh, in the action script based project file into your canvas based project file. Question seven. Once this document has been converted from Swift to HTML5, or I should say from the action script 3.0 based project file to the canvas based project file, the action script code is all commented out since HTML5 only supports JavaScript. So in that import process, the action script is going to be commented out because in the context of canvas-based document, um, there is no such thing as action script. It's only in the base of an action script 3.0 based document. Sorry, I forgot to turn it off. Um, so, it when you import that, it will comment out all the job, job, uh, all the action script. And you'll have to manually create the um, corresponding uh, JavaScript, or else use snippets, snippets of code, JavaScript code. Question eight: With the HTML5 Canvas API, there are tools that are not supported in the HTML5 Canvas document that are available in an action script three or. Um, File format document. In other words, what features are affected when, when converting ActionScript 3.0 project files to Canvas project files? Um, select all that apply. So these are the things that uh, you see HTML5 or Canvas documents or HTML5 documents can't do everything that an ActionScript 3.0 Canvas uh, uh, Flash document with the Swift file export and the Adobe Flash player uh, can do. So uh, this goes over the list of what you can't do. All right. Well, that's it for um, that's it for the assessment. And so what I want you to do is go ahead and uh, go ahead and take that and don't don't finish it. Don't submit it unless if you have any questions, then we can go over any questions you have in tomorrow night's session. Okay. So let's see. Um, Tomorrow night, I think I'm good for 7 p.m. if you're good, too. That works for me. Okay. Sounds good. All, All right. right. Well, have a good evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow. 
All right, not a problem. Not.